Even in that, Rosario felt that punch. Oh, one, two. Utilizing the jab, left hook, down step. Huge round for Erickson Lubin. It started with the right hook. Beautiful right hook around the garden. Pulsing after that shotgun jab by Charlo. That was extraordinary. In front of Lubin, he seems to have recovered a bit. Going to the body, missing his shots. He's picking off Rosario with those shots. Oh, he got hurt. It, it was a jab. There's Lubin with the jab and a beautiful jab. Um, we see that they're similar. No three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. It's the co-main event of the evening. A world title. Introducing to you first on my left with a record of 20 wins, two losses and one draw. Jason Rosario. With an outstanding record of 23 wins, one loss. Introducing Lubin. Reacciones en el camerino. Talk to him Don't go to Montes. The bell and round. Been down twice in his career, but both times were in round one. Lubin has never fought an opponent with a losing record. 54 pound division because everybody fights each other. Right hand, he's just waiting to kind of uncoil it and, and, and wing. Rosario in the yellow, white, and blue. Pushed by unanimous decision in September of last year. Prior to that, using that jab, but Rosario does not stop. Always looking for a fight. Lubin is such a master at picking his Of the 154-pound weight class where there are so... When he is at his best, he's using that punch. You know, Rosario, you can feel him looking to get that right hand. Lubin working with Kevin Cunningham, showing up his... Always alert, but he has to be twice as alert when it comes to this fight. And again, we will... Hopefully... ...that up jab for, for Lubin for that right hand. Why it's such... A fan-friendly di division. After Rosario's first defeat back in 2017, he came back. And you know he's in there, he's doing a good job. You know, Lubin, the fighter and opening up here in the final seconds of the first. Jab with conviction, boy, he did that in round number one. Just don't throw wide looping punches. He has a good left. The bell and round two. Pawing with the jab, again leads with the left, splits the guard. Nice jab to the... In his own right, others who have done it in the past include... Well, one of the... ...and now coming off a career-long 273 days. You want to make sure you're in great position for that. You don't want to rush in against Lubin because you're going to walk in into that left. Well, we know that Lubin can be... He didn't work hard, and Saucedo said, if you don't work hard, I'm not going to become heavyweight champion as well. Basically, tell him to set up that right hand, which he is. He's trying to. They, Rosario, he fit in his last... Staying at a good distance, and whenever he can, you're landing overhand right. Jermel Charlo would love to move on and become a champion. Back with Herman Saucedo, a trainer that trained him before. Williams. And Rosario really takes... Shouting out their instructions to Banana. To the end of round number two. And let's go to Jim Gray. From the barrio to the bright lights of a Showtime pay-per-view watching round three of this 154 pound. You want to put in, you want to give a high pace. But in that, Rosario felt that punch. Oh, one, two. Utilizing the jab, left hook downstairs, the auspices of a Kevin Cunningham. Oh, vicious sport in Javante Tank Davis. That's our main event still to come. You feel a change in body language for Rosario. He's coming forward. Time to, to think and, and, and connect. Beautiful right hook around the garden. A Lingus attack and beginning to wear down Rosario. His composure and not yes. rushing in. And showcasing the maturity. Carlo. A terrific third unified 154 pound champion, Jason Rosario. Of Rosario is Lubin sitting down in his punches now. Hook for Lubin. Very composed and mature. Pulsing after that shotgun jab by Charlo. That was extraordinary. The ropes unable to fire back. Eats another right hook. A comprehensive effort. Left upper coat. Let's get some air here. 
the left hand and uh, Rosario. He's going to come like a crazy man now. You got to be available. Beginning of round four, Lubin will continue to try to test. You know, you saw that it's there already. So Lubin doing the right thing. And he's just. And then tremendous effort for Lubin. After being hurt. I'm astonished that he's been able to come. How important this fight is because, as we mentioned many times, all kinds of guts and determination to jump right out, but he does not look stable, Abner. Yeah. It's funny, over seven and a half rounds oh. against Terence Cachet. In front of Lubin, he seems to have recovered a bit, going to the body. Miss he was a champion, was dethroned in his last fight. Especially when you've seen already that you can hurt this guy, you're picking your shots well. Rosario trying to get back on track. He wobbled his corner. Rosario career, back-to-back -back losses, even at this level of the sport. Come back here in the fourth, as it's now Rosario. Rosario starting to throw the left hook better, and... and he shots, he's picking off Rosario with those shots. He got hurt. Yeah, but it's mostly uh, oh. Lubin, you know. When... Wow. Put your shit together. You won't have to go look for no knockout. It, it was a jab. There's Lubin with the jab and a beautiful jab, giving some very stern oh. advice. That's where Rosario. You're like, right. Rosario that he is. Exactly. Rosario. Man is going to be more vulnerable. Lubin no, is going to recover. And the body language has changed. Has thrown more punches in Lubin. He's been more active. Oh, but gets tagged. <laughs> what a round. Has a nasty jab to Lubin in the fourth. And now here's Alfred. Uh, Lubin's fight with Gachet, he was stunned, but came back. Boxing P if we continue to see matchups like this. No, and it's mostly in this weight class that we see fights Amen. like this. Along the ropes, Rosario. On the comes, looking to land the uppercut on the inside. Double jab splits the... Having exhibited vulnerability in the past. And there is a search of greater glory in Rosario and Lubin. And Rosario just... We are witnessing a fantastic fight as we come deep in competitive division, willing to put it all on the line. Weight classes. And should be. Right hook again. Nominations. Lubin given the space. Lubin... Jab of Lubin. Lubin trying to use angles as we end round five. Are really hurting, hurting, hurting him already. Those punches are hurting him. You got to jab more than him. Just jab. That's what I want you to do. Get your rhythm. Jab. Scoop, scoop. And fire your left hand. Come back with the hook. Round number six. You are watching an important battle and are joined by Brian Custer, Jim Gray, and the Showtime as Gervonta Tank Davis dares to be great. Jump jab. Oh, and Lubin goes downstairs. Rosario and former 154-pound title challenge. He wanted that punch more. Oh, nice uppercut by Lubin. We've seen the growth of Erickson Lubin at each investment to the body. And Rosario is down. With his team as he picked. He was able to weather adversity, and he weathered the adversity, and was able to do into the power punches, everything other than the jab, 44% top. Go, terrific left hand, and we'll see the body work. Yeah, there's two body shots. The first, it was two of them. That one, that one had a lot of power into it. Getting him in trouble. Now, he's on the ground and also some other issues. So here, we'll take a look at Lubin. He is... This was a body shot that already was, that was already giving him problems. Even By way of knockout, Erickson. And then in the fourth round, had a little bit of trouble yourself. How would you describe this evening? You know, distract him with the jab and then go downstairs and then it got him out. You know, we're going we gonna to systematically beat him down. And that's what we did. And I seen him hold his body like that. I knew he was hurt. I went right back to the jab. Right now, I'm, I'm throwing everything hard. Boom. Body shot, you know, because I don't duck nobody. I don't want no tune-up fights. You know, all these guys want tune-up. Tremendous performance. Congratulations, Kevin. Le Leon, your turn, baby.